The town of Chatham, Ontario is an unlikely home for one of Canada's best basketball families. Situated an hour from London, it was in this house that the Allens grew up. And with this old net, one of the OUA's best and biggest households learned their game. I'm this good looking kid. Look at that turtleneck. So what you say you're the best looking? Uh, nah, Richie's really good looking. But yeah, I'm up there. I'm definitely up there. <laughs> top eight. <laughs> top, top eight for sure. Eight kids, 14 years apart, and one common love. The game of basketball. It's, it, it's always still flowing, the competitive genes. I don't think they'll ever leave for basketball. It's like your first true love. Yeah, it'll never, it'll never change with me. I've always loved the game, I always will. It's been my passion and will be for the rest of my life. While Trevor, Molly, and Cleo decided not to pursue basketball at the next level, the other five Allen boys began making their mark on the OUA with the Windsor Lancers in 2003. Richard was a, a really talented high school quarterback. He was, he was dynamite. He was recruited by a number of different universities and uh, chose Windsor and then the basketball team was like, you know, one of the dark side sort of thing and uh, started practicing with the team in January and then I committed in March and then it was just like, yeah, we got five years together. And then we had two years with Connor, which was, which was fun. We were, a t we were a tight team. I was going to say, yeah, we were just a good group of guys. Good group of guys and like, like, there's just so balanced. We had like a lot of really good players. I think three of the players played pro after, so um, good, really good team. In 2007, Connor's first year at Windsor, the Lancers claimed the OUA championship. We beat off his fans. Fans are amazing. You know, it's, I can't explain it. But despite their success, when it became Max's turn to choose a program, the family's most sought after recruit went in another direction. I don't know, they just both, they all just chose Windsor and uh, who won me over really was Peter Campbell. He was at, in my last year, he was at every single one of my tournaments and he just showed so much commitment and trust in me and I wanted to play a lot uh, at the start of my career and that was a way I could start uh, on a team. After winning OUA Rookie of the Year, Max would go on to be top 10 in the country in points, assists and rebounds at different stages of his career. By the end of his five years at Laurier, he was the Golden Hawks' all-time leader in rebounds and assists and had scored the fifth most points in OUA history. He did a lot of things. He could pass the ball, he could handle the ball, he rebounded really well, and became a very good scorer over the time he was here. He's one of the greatest players to play at Laurier ever. Uh, you know, he, he could score the ball, he could rebound, uh, he could dish it, he could do it all on the court and then off the court. He was uh, a leader, everyone loved him. He's just a great guy, so I think he, it meant a huge deal to Laurier basketball. But there is one unfinished chapter in the Allen family saga. The youngest of the eight, Luke, is in his rookie season at Laurier. And as it turns out, they may have saved the best for last. Well, my last recollection of playing basketball was with Luke when he was like about four or five and he was only, you know, at school for half day and I went out to while he was shooting and I was guarding him and I had my arms up and then he made me only put one arm up and then, and then that was too much and then I could only have no arms up and I'm like guarding him like, come on Luke, but uh, yeah. Oh, well I grew up watching my brothers since I was born, like I was always in the gym, but I was in a lot of camps as I was younger all throughout the year and just playing elementary basketball and just watching my brothers play. What do you think is Luke's biggest strength as a player? Being able to watch his older brothers and being able to learn from everybody <laughs> and his size and his basketball IQ. Yeah, he's... I, he's, he's a general out on the court. He's, he's very smart. Yeah, he's got definitely high b-ball IQ and uh, his length is is pretty uh, impressive. Like, he's 6'7", but he's got arms down to his knees. Um, so that's going to help you out in the long run. But uh, he's a good shooter, too. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. he's pretty, he's pretty well-rounded. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good all, the, all around. He too, needs so. to be more aggressive, though. Be more aggressive, yeah. <laughs> Need Luke, be more aggressive. <laughs> All my brothers are great university players, so I hope to be as good as them. Whether he'll be as good as Max, whether he'll be better than Max, I'm hoping he'll be better, but I'd be happy if he was as good as Max, because that was a pretty good run for us. He has the potential to, to beat Max's records, but at the same time, I don't think he's ever thought about it. He's thinking about getting the, getting the Ws. Uh, if I got anywhere close near to his numbers, that'd be pretty impressive, but getting wins is, I think, is more important to myself. 
and trying to thrive to be as best as I can. Whether they are on or off the court, basketball runs in the Allen's blood. I think, I think it's just how much we love and support each other. I know that sounds kind of cliche, but um, you know, we, we've been such a strong family and, and, and so supportive of one another. Uh, being awesome and also like just, I don't know, being, being good guys, having fun, being good teammates, um, hope, hopefully being able to help the team win, but for the most part you want to, you know, be a good person I think, so. You just enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, have fun.